All right, so to program this thing, let's use my favorite example here of finding the area of a circle. So I've got pi r squared, and I'm going to be doing this for multiple radii uh, circles. So I'm going to go into my programming space, so shift and the p slash r gets me into program mode. You see it says program right there. And I'm going to create a, well, first let's clear it. So if I go shift and then clear program, that clears that whole program space. So I don't have any programs or labels left. Now I'm going to create a label. So shift, label, and then let's do A. And I'm going to take what's in the X register and I'm going to square it. So do that, square it. It's just giving me the numeric codes for those operations. It's a little difficult to read a program this way, but uh, well, that's how it is. Next, I'm going to add in pi. So I just squared my r, so I add in pi, multiply the result, and then we'll do return. Return is shift, and right there. And then to get out of the program space, do the same thing we did to get in, do shift and then the pr. So now I'm going to enter in a circle, let's enter in radius 5, and then I want to execute that program. So I just do shift and then my A label right there. It runs and I get the result. The area of a circle of radius 5 is 78.5. I want to do it for radius 3 or radius 6. Do it again. Radius 2. So even though this is a very simple example, you can see how this would be very useful in entering in a series of operations that you want to do. Um, and then executing it. And the expandability here is fairly significant. You can do uh, loops and other things using this programming space. You're not limited to just a series of keystrokes. So that's programming.